Good morning, um, everybody, and, and welcome. Um, I'm Paul Johnson. I'm director at the IFS, and I'm only going to waste a few minutes of your time before you get into the the main uh, the main business um, of the day. I just wanted to say a few words about this um, this event and a few words about the IFS before uh, you hear from my colleagues, who will say quite a lot more uh, interesting. Things. So this is a special, uh, special time for us, actually. It's our 50th, um, 50th anniversary this year. The IFS was founded back in 1969, which um, probably sounds like a long time ago to most of you, but it was sadly after I was born, um, though not much. Um, and over that 50 years, we've uh, developed from what was then obviously a tiny organisation to still a fairly small one but covering some of the most important issues I think in public policy at the moment and that's what my colleagues will be talking to you about later today. So we're looking at everything from the public finances, pensions, welfare, inequality, earnings, uh, early years education, higher education, uh, health funding, uh, the design of uh, most aspects of the tax system. And we're doing all of that uh, with two or three very fundamental things in mind. The first is that all of that is based on uh, data analysis. Some people call us a think tank, and we do occasionally think. Uh, but essentially, we're a research institute. Everything we do is based on analysis of very large data sets. The second is that we're applying um, economic ideas and techniques to those questions and those, uh, and those data sets. And thirdly, everything that we do, we are incredibly careful to do in the most objective uh, and politically neutral way that we can, which under current circumstances is particularly important and increasingly difficult to persuade people that that's what we're trying to do. And hopefully some of that will come through uh, later today. Now, most of you, I think, uh, though uh, looking around, perhaps not quite all of you, um, are currently uh, students uh, at universities. Um, and hopefully today we'll give you some flavour of the really important uh, and serious work that economists do here and do in the real world uh, and use to influence, uh, to influence policy. And the work that we do uh, both um, hits the top uh, journals. You'll have been reading hopefully some of it in some of the world's top academic journals. But it also uh, is used to uh, influence the media uh, and policymakers. So uh, we're very proud that we publish both in The Sun and in Econometrica. And there aren't many organisations uh, that can say that they're publishing both of those uh, particular journals. Um, and uh, some of us do more of one and some of us do more of the other. I personally haven't published in Econometrica. Um, but some of the people you'll see later today uh, have done. To give you some sense of the kind of organisation that we are, we have about uh, 50 staff here. Uh, most of them uh, started straight out of undergraduate or master's degrees here uh, and work with some of the top academics around the country um, and around the world to do the kind of work that I'm describing. Perhaps to give you the best idea of the kind of organisation that we are, I'll just say one or two things about what happened to some of our alumni, so people who started here usually at the age of 21 or 22. So among those we have currently people who are full professors at Oxford, Cambridge, UCL, LSE, Stanford, Yale, MIT and many other uh, such prestigious organisations. That's about half of them go into academia. The other half go into the world of uh, public policy. So we have the current editor, economics editor of the Financial Times, two recent economics editors at the BBC, a recent pensions minister, two uh, of chief advisors to chancellors uh, in, uh, in recent years, the editor of Prospect uh, magazine, uh, and again, many more besides in the world of media um, and the public policy. Very few people, I'm extremely proud to say, very few people come here and then go on to earn lots of money, um, which tells you something about the way that people choose, uh, to why, why people choose to come here and the kinds of people uh, who who choose, uh, who choose to do so. So I'm uh, going to say no more other than to say that those of you who are uh, currently um, studying economics, thinking about what you want to do next, please do consider uh, the IFS um, as, as a career. I genuinely think we're one of the best places in the world to work. 
I worked here initially both, uh, I, I started here at the age of 21. Um, I haven't uh, been here ever since. I have then spent about 15 years doing other stuff uh, in, in government uh, and, and in consultancy before, uh, before coming back. I've seen a fair bit of where you can practice um, uh, economics. Uh, the IFS is an absolutely fantastic place, both uh, to be trained in being a really uh, top quality economist, to have a really good time and to really um, have an impact uh, on the world. Um, if you want to earn a lot of money, go somewhere else. Um, so uh, so I, I, will, I, I, will, I will stop there. Um, you're now going to get, I think, um, uh, six uh, presentations from colleagues of mine on various aspects of, uh, of things that we work on. There are other things that we work on as well, so do go to our, our website. There's a lot of stuff on our website, a lot of it extremely um, easy to use and easy to read, a lot easier than uh, things you'll find in some of the more abstruse journals. But you can also find really tough stuff uh, there as well um, if you want. And it will cover all of the issues that you might uh, be interested in in the fields of, uh, of, public, uh, of public economics and, and the economics of public policy. So let me stop there. Um, please uh, enjoy uh, the rest of today. I hope you learn a lot. I hope you um, see uh, how, as I said, economics is really applied to the problems um, of the real world. Uh, and, um, and I hope you, hope you enjoy uh, what I guess is probably for most of you the first day of any kind of serious work this year. All right, thank you.